Well, that's right, Dave. You know, Judge Damon Keith says this is just more proof about how the generosity of Mike and Marion Illich helped so many people. In fact, says the couple helped the woman who eventually became known as the mother of the civil rights movement, none other than Rosa Parks. A journey of a million miles begins with the first step. They took the first step. Words spoken by a man who became known as the crusader for justice during the civil rights movement. Here is Judge Damon Keith pictured with some of his heroes, like Nelson Mandela, John F. Kennedy. It may come as a surprise. Those words were meant for the late Mike Illich and his surviving wife, Marion, for something the couple did that he says he'll never forget, and until recently, he hadn't told anyone. Well, of course, they don't go around saying that, but I want to let, at this point, let them know how much the Illiches not only meant to the city, but they meant so much for Rosa Parks, who was the mother of the civil rights movement. Back in 1994, Rosa Parks lived here in Detroit. That same year, she was beaten and robbed. At the time, Judge Keith called on the community to raise enough money to get Rosa Parks out of the neighborhood she'd been living in. Keith says two guardian angels answered his call. And Mike and Marion sent in a substantial check. In fact, I just sent it, but a copy of their check back to them three or four weeks ago. Judge Keith says Mike and Marion Illich paid Rosa Parks rent at the Riverfront Apartments in downtown Detroit from that moment until the day Parks died more than a decade later. This is a picture of Judge Keith with a check from Mike and Marion Illich. He stores copies in his office as a reminder that his friends Mike and Marion Illich sacrificed so much for the city they loved and gave so much to those in need. You'll never discover new oceans unless you have the courage to lose sight of the shore. Mike and Marion had the courage to lose sight of the shore and discover new oceans. They kept pushing Detroit, and it had not been for them, I am saying Detroit would not be in the Renaissance that they're in now. Back here live, now Judge Keith says this was only one reason why Mike and Marion Illich meant so much to him and meant so much to so many others. In fact, he told us he could have talked to us all night and shared stories all night with us about that couple and what they did for this city. And Gino, Judge Keith also had some other ties to the Illiches because of his love for baseball. Did he talk about that? Oh, he certainly did. For those who don't know, Judge Keith was a huge part of getting a great uh, a former Tiger, a former Tiger great, I should say, uh, his career going. His name is Willie Horton. And of course, there's a statue outside of Comerica Park of none other than Willie Horton. Dave, back to you. Hi, right, Gino. Thank you very much. Dino Vici reporting live tonight from downtown Detroit.